everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I decided to do a unpopular makeup opinion or unpopular opinions beauty category um, I've seen a lot of people lately doing the ranking system um, I did not decide to do that it's kind of just like my own personal take on each beauty thing um, and just different companies that I feel like fell off or I don't like I've seen a lot of youtubers do it and I just wanted to kind of you know do my own little spin and take on it so if you're wondering what my unpopular makeup opinions are then keep on watching all right guys so basically I'm trying to mix up my channel like obviously it's all beauty related all of the time I'm big on beauty hair skin makeup etc however I don't want to always do makeup looks um, I like doing hauls I like doing reviews I like doing funny videos challenges and I also love these like personal videos I guess you could say this is where like I kind of just like give you more information about me and my thoughts my opinions on different things so if you like these kind of videos definitely let me know down below um if you do like them if you don't like them I mean you can tell me but I'll probably still I'm probably still gonna do it also just let me know down below what other kind of beauty videos you like or you want to see and I will try to get them up for you guys I have lots of plans for 2021 um, and it includes a lot of YouTube a lot of different content and creating and fun and I had already jumped to five videos a week or six because my bloopers on Saturday but I meant to do that in 2021 but I kind of did it a little bit before just so it wasn't such a big jump when January came so just stay tuned because I got a lot of stuff going on like I got it going on like I'm so excited I'm so hyped I know that some of these I just want to do a disclaimer basically that I know that some people like these things some people really like these things and these people and these companies so what I want to give you a disclaimer on is this is my personal opinion. This is not to say that you have to feel this way or a lot of people feel this way. I'm not trying to cancel anybody. I'm none of that. It's just my opinion on companies, brands, trends, etc. It's not any like, oh my God, gossip. Like that's not what I'm here for. I don't have no time for that. It's just my opinion on different things in the beauty community. So the first thing first, if you are not new to my channel, then you know I am not a fan of winged liner. Um, I think that winged liner can be very pretty. Um, it can also be overplayed. I feel like we have as a community or as a whole really just overplayed winged liner to where it's kind of like, a oh, look, another look with winged liner. Um, I think in my opinion that it really takes away from the color and the look of the eyeshadow. So for me, I just, it's not my journey. It's not something that I'm into. I don't do it that often. I will do it every now and again. And that's kind of how I feel like when liner should be a very now and again kind of thing. And we just took it and we ran with it and we didn't stop running with it. And like, I need 2021 to like build a wall and just stop it. I'm just, I'm done with winged liner. So number two is another makeup technique that I've just never really been a big fan of and it's just primarily because of my own skin and the type of skin that I have. I do not like baking. I think it's a very unnecessary step. Um, most makeup artists will tell you that it's unnecessary. They Most of them don't do it. Uh, I do set my concealer. I don't set my foundation so I won't set my whole face. I just kind of set my concealer and where I place that down um, with a very minimal amount of powder. I just feel that it really Really dries the area out and I understand I understand that they're setting powders and all of that that will kind of matte that powder down but it's still gonna show a lot of that texture on your skin where you're placing it and as for baking under the eye it's very unnecessary because your under eye does not produce natural oils as much as like the rest of your face so if you're pat if you're powdering um because you have oily skin then I would definitely recommend maybe a blotting sheet or a blotting powder to take with you I do not recommend baking I actually hate it um, it makes me cringe it's not something that I find is flattering for the face and it's definitely not something that I can do if I could just like erase that trend 100% immediately I would don't get me wrong I do use a setting powder I just don't let it sit on my face for 30 minutes and get into all my creepy crevices so the next thing is actually a makeup company um, it's a couple of them these are companies that I have found have fallen off 
off um, the top ones that I could think of offhand that I just don't purchase from really anymore uh, unless it's like a TJ Maxx or something it's ColourPop, Makeup Geek, MAC, and Jeffree Star <laughs> cosmetics <laughs> now I do not have an issue with any of these brands um they've not done anything to me or to like I don't upset me I guess um I just feel like they've overstayed their welcome does that make sense so with ColourPop I really I don't think I've bought anything ColourPop in a very long time the last thing I bought was the ColourPop um Candyland set um and I, I immediately, by the way, regret buying that. Like, it's just not a, it's not a good palette in my opinion. Um, I thought it was very cute, uh, very collector piece, and that's the main reason I bought it. But when it comes to ColourPop, I feel like they launched way too much. And when they started doing that about a year or so ago, where they became very popular and they started to launch like every week with something new, it became overwhelming to me. And I just kind of was like, okay, I'm out. Like, I don't want anything to do with that. I'm not a fan of that. And it just kind of like overstimulated me, I guess, to where it turned me away from it. Um, so I don't really buy ColourPop anymore. I think that they are going to fall off very shortly. Uh, they're going to run out of ideas. I say that all the time and it's going to be the end of ColourPop. Like they just, they launched way too much stuff way too soon. I think that if they held back a lot of them, um, business purposes wise, they probably would have been a very hype brand a lot longer. I think that they do make decent products. Like I won't lie, they do make decent products. I just think that as a business I they instead of taking you know their time and really going for the long haul of being a business they just as soon as they started trending they, they were just pumping out way too much stuff and it's like you know creativity takes a while so when I see stuff that you're pumping out that just really shows me that you kind of just threw it together because you're just trying to get stuff out you're just trying to sell me something um and then as for Jeffree Star um, I don't have any ill will towards Jeffree Star. It, I just feel like it's too much drama. There's too much negativity wrapped around his company, his brand, him as a whole. Um, and this is not to like cancel him. I hate cancel culture. That's another unpopular opinion. Like I just hate it. It's pointless. Um, is too much drama but he just there's just too much negativity around his whole brand and like things he's done and things he hasn't done and I just I just stay away from it because I just don't need to deal with something like that I don't want to deal with something like that I don't want to draw that negative attention to me um, this will probably draw the negative attention to me because I'm a hater and I hate Jeffree Star I don't hate him I don't know him um, I just stay away from the brand and then Makeup Geek and Mac I just kind of feel the same about both of them like they both have really good products but they're just nobody's really buying that stuff anymore um I know that Mac you know is obviously cult okay there are people who will buy Mac until the day they die but when it comes down to it so many companies have been so innovative with the things that they're doing and you know back then Mac was like a big thing because like you couldn't get all this fancy stuff at the you know Walmart Target whatever but now it's like you can get a palette every two days from somewhere else that has a lot of colors a lot of cute packaging so Mac was really big on that but now it's like mm, they don't really launch anything innovative I feel like and it's very expensive and if you can get it from Morphe or you can get it from Colourpop or <laughs> you can get it from somewhere else that's less expensive than that um and then Makeup Geek like I said they just uh, it's another company that kind of just fell off I guess we'll go into the next one which is the drama and cancel culture and scandals in itself in the beauty community um I know that a lot of people like watching like tea videos and stuff like that and I really honestly I won't lie to you like I used to really love them um but what I'm starting to realize is the stuff that I intake, whether it be on YouTube, in music, on TV, in the news, whatever it is, it really just resonates with me and that becomes my energy. So when I'm sitting there and I'm watching all this drama and this gossip and negativity, like that's just what my mindset is and it just becomes that negative energy and that negative space that I just don't want anymore. Um, I think that it is important to hold people responsible and accountable for their actions, their words and um, things that they have done. But I just think that we're so quick uh, to cancel people for stuff that just isn't that important in my opinion like I don't want to make something less important to someone because if it's a big deal to you then it's a big deal to you but in my opinion I do feel like 
we went from canceling people for like legitimate reasons to kind of just a, a cyber bullying people and I just get to the point where I really don't want to be a part of it and that kind of rolls into why I don't buy Jeffree Star cosmetics is because I just don't I don't want to intake that negative energy anymore like I don't even watch him anymore I don't watch him anymore I don't really watch Jacqueline anymore I don't watch Tati anymore um not because I don't like them not because they are bad people I don't know them I don't hate them I don't know them but because they just have so much negative energy around them that I'm just not here for like I got into makeup because I love makeup because I love beauty products not because I love drama like I'd be watching drama channels I'd be a drama channel if that's what I wanted so for me I think that I try to keep all of that negative energy like I think this is like the first or second time I've really ever touched base on anything like that um I just try to keep that energy away from my channel because I don't I want to review makeup I don't want to review scandals and I don't want to review drama however if a company contains way too much of that and I can't really get around it then I just kind of like okay this is not for me this is not my journey I don't want this but I just have like a different vibe like different energy now that I'm older you know I've turned 30 this year so it's just not something I don't care about drama I don't want to watch it and my girls will put it on and I'm just like ugh, and I'll get up and I'll go do something else because even they don't realize that you know you're absorbing all of this negative energy and that's kind of just what you become and that's how your mindset goes so I just avoid drama and scandals and I just think it's ridiculous so let's get back into like makeup itself um I love liquid lipsticks <laughs> I own like hundreds of liquid lipsticks I know a lot of people don't like liquid lipsticks they're not a fan they're too dry they're not comfortable they don't like the way it looks they don't like the way it feels I love them I absolutely love them um I will always love them there's not a day that will go by that I'm like oh yeah let me get rid of all my liquid lipsticks because I'm in it for cream it's not gonna happen like no matter how dry these crusty musty lips get they're gonna wear liquid lipstick and they're gonna like it <laughs> um and that kind of goes into my next one which is lip liner uh believe it or not I own I want to say I probably own uh maybe a hundred lip liners um and i ultimately regret buying them because i don't use lip liner the only time i use a lip liner is when i'm wearing a cream or velvet silky red because sometimes that will bleed to my lips and the lip lines that i have but that's the only color that really does that to me so I don't really use lip liners, um, so I have them, I don't use them. So I know that people love their lip liners, but man, I'm just like, they're collecting dust up in here because I don't really use them like that. I think that I'm able with a liquid lipstick and a cream to just be able to draw my lips out that way. So I don't really use them that much. That and eyeliner, so that's another one. I don't like eyeliner. I don't use it in my under eye most of the time. I don't use it on my lid most of the time. I just don't find use for eyeliners. Now I obviously will use them here and there for different reasons, um, whether it be pastel liners for graphic looks or um, to smoke out the bottom line, but really I don't use them and I have a ton of them too. I don't know why I do these things. It's just things that you, as I've done YouTube or as I've been in the beauty community, like I've just like decided like it's not my journey, it's not for me. Like just because everyone and their mom says you have to use lip liner doesn't mean I actually do. Um, but unfortunately I learned that lesson way too, way too late. <laughs> I own too many of them. So the next thing that I am gonna say is kind of uh i hate tiktok makeup videos um i tried to get on that trend uh and i hated it i 100 percent hated it um i feel like when i want to watch a makeup video i want to be able to watch it i want to be able to write down you know what they're using how they're using it so for me it's just like when it comes to 60 seconds and you go and then your face is completely done I don't know what you used. I don't know what your steps were. What were your tools? How did you apply it? How can I achieve that? Like, it's just, and then you gotta rewatch it over and over and over. And I'm just like, no, no, thank you. I'm good. I like the talking ones on TikTok. Um, I like the like funny ones and all that. I just do not like makeup, makeup tutorial TikToks. 
No, I don't. I hate them. Two more trends that I find that I really, really, really cannot stand. Um, and if you do, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, this is not directed towards anybody. I do not like the gem look. I know that's very trendy in 2020. It was on the trendy list of things on 2020. I cannot stand when I see people taking pictures or makeup pictures and they got gems all over their face, all over their eyes and the brows. And I've even seen it in their hair. Okay, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, the hair, maybe you might wear that out in public, but where are you wearing gems on your eyes? Where are you going? Comment down below. Tell me where you're going. Are you going to work? Are you going to school? Like, what are you doing? Cause I don't know a thing. I've never seen a single person in real life wear gems with their makeup look. I just don't, I don't like it. I'm not doing it. I don't. I like to give you guys achievable, everyday, realistic makeup looks. That's what you're gonna get from me. If you want gems and animal print painted on your eyes, and that's another one that's on my list. Um, if you want that kind of stuff, I ain't it. I'm not it for you. You can you can unsubscribe, you can move on because you're never gonna get that from me. I don't find that that's something that I'm interested in. That's not something that I wanna do. It's not my journey, it's other people's journey, that's fine. Um, I just wanna give you guys realistic, everyday things that you're gonna wear outside. Not something that you're gonna put on, take a picture and remove it immediately. Um, so the last thing, the last thing, the last unpopular opinion. I probably have a lot. Like if this is a live, I could sit here for hours and probably talk to you guys about like things I don't like. <laughs> we don't have that kind of time. Uh, so the last thing, probably gonna touch a nerve. I think all of these might touch someone's nerve, but um, is over editing. I hate over editing. That's a big word, like I hate it. Um, I hate putting all that kind of negative energy into something, but I think that over editing has become a norm for the beauty community and I really wish that it wasn't. I was actually on Lipstick Nick's Instagram and I realized that her photo, the photo that it popped up on my feed, I wasn't on her page, but it popped up on my feed, was like not edited at all. Like you could see the texture, you could see her skin, how it actually looked. And like, so I was like, let me, maybe she accidentally uploaded this. Maybe this is not, you know, on purpose. It was a oops. So I go onto her page and no, most of her photos like that. Some have some smoothing, some have a little lighting touch up, um, which is normal in photography. Um, but for the most part, like her photos are like legitimately her photos. And I love that. I absolutely love that and I think it stood out to me so much because every time I go on my news feed anyone that posts a makeup look is 110% painted on makeup. Why did you even take the time to do the makeup? Why did you even take the time to do the look? Just take a picture of yourself without makeup and paint it on. Facetune will do that for you. Do it that way. It's easier. You save your skin from having issues. Um, and it's not that I don't edit my photos. I do edit my photos. Clearly, you can see that. But again, mine revolves around like normal lighting, some smoothing. If I got a blemish, I remove it. Um, but to sit there, to me, and completely paint over what you've done to make it more real, like more, I guess, bold and it's unrealistic it's lying like you're that's not gonna look that way and then when people who don't really know how to do makeup that well they're trying and they're trying and then they're like you know I can't get this I'm bad at this it doesn't look like that it's never gonna look like that and just know that okay just know most people without work done most people some people do are lucky and just have amazing skin um have texture they have lines it's going to show you have hair on your face it's just there like <laughs> um these are normal things and i think that as a community and as a whole we've made it so that oh my god she didn't edit her photo her nose wasn't edited and contoured who cares who i'm tired of seeing those photos it's so fake that i just literally i unfollow 
I unfollow because to me, it shows me that you actually have less skill than someone who didn't edit their photo. If you have to paint on your color, then you didn't blend your eyeshadow correctly. If you had to paint on your color, the palette isn't as pigmented as you're saying it is. And now, and now, you're false advertising to me and trying to get me to buy something that not even you believe is that good or you wouldn't have edited the colors on your eyes. I understand that companies over edit and magazines over edit. That's what they're there for. That's what they do. Like, you know that that's going to be like, we go to YouTube for a review on a palette because we know that Kylie is going to over edit her shit and it's going to be super bright and it might not actually look like that in real life. But when I go to an influencer or someone that I believe is going to tell me an honest review, and you tell me how pigmented a shadow is and how bold the looks are and I go on your Instagram and it looks like you freaking finger painted all over your eyes. No, I don't believe you. Even if that palette is the bomb, I don't believe you because you had to go and do that. Like if it was so good, a little bit of lighting, a little bit of smoothing would have gone a long way. Um, I just feel like we over edit and it's actually become a very negative energy um, to everybody like oh my god it's not good enough I'm not thin enough my eyeshadow is not bright enough well look at this person's it looks so flawless it looks so smooth their skin has no texture their skin has no issues stop we're all normal we are all normal with normal problems I have normal problems okay I have super dry skin I have pigmentation issues I have dark under eyes and some bags I didn't sleep well last night these are all normal things that normal humans deal with and it's okay it's okay and i just like want that to be something that we understand like beauty is far more than just the makeup and the edited photos so if you're one of those people and you look at these photos and you're like oh my god how did they get it to look like that i could never do that yes you can you can do it and you'll probably do it better because you're going to do it for real and not for fakes I just, that's one thing that really, 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 really irritates me. It just doesn't look realistic and that's why I hate it and I really wish people wouldn't do it as much but unfortunately that is the world we live in where perfection is key and if you're not then you're just, you know, outcast and that's fine because I love all you guys. I love the amount of people that I have and that comment and talk to me all the time and my normal boring self and my normal boring makeup. Um, but I'm just never going to be that person that I feel like fakes my makeup. I want my makeup skills to speak for themselves, not my editing skills. If I wanted to be a photographer, then I would have done that and not gone into makeup. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll wrap this up. <laughs> So that is it for today's video. Um, don't hate me too bad. Uh, if you do, that's okay. We all have our own thing. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know if one of my unpopular makeup opinions is one that you agree with and why. Or leave me a comment below and tell me what a trash person I am. Whatever, just say hi. So just make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I do five beauty videos every week and one blooper video on Saturdays. And make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it, it does help me out a lot. As always guys, I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.